welcome to my channel. If you're new, it's nice to meet you. Today I am going to be showing you how to do this look that I'm wearing. It's a very soft, very neutral look, I would say. This is something that I favor over any kind of look, whether it's dramatic or minimal. I just like something that it's obvious that you're wearing makeup, but it's not too gaudy. And this is something that I would wear if I was going out with my girlfriends, if I'm going out to a club, which I don't really do, but if I were, this is the kind of thing I would wear. The whole theme is soft, because this is like a soft look. Um, that was not a soft gesture, by the way, that was a pretty hard gesture. But I think the lip is really soft. I think the fluttery eyelashes give this such a, I don't know, a, it gives it such an innocent look. And the eye look is pretty simple, it's very basic, it's just, you know, your neutral browns. And I hope you guys really enjoy this look. I try to make it as simple and fast as possible. So if you want to get this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to start with priming my face with my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and I'm going to smooth that all over my face, especially around my nose. And now I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Wet n Wild Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer. This holds my eyeshadow in place all day, I've tested it out. It literally stays in place for 12 hours. So now taking my blending brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to dip into Nectar in my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be depositing this color right above my crease. This brings a lot of life to the eyes, it's a perfect transitional shade and I'm doing this really messily, I'm just trying to get that soft color on my eyelid. Taking a small eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be going into light brown from the same palette and I'm going to deposit this color right on the outer half of my eyelid. I just want to cool down my eyelids. This is a very cool toned brown and it doesn't really make a difference, but I think it just helps to even everything out. I'm just flipping that same brush over and I'm going into buff from the same exact palette and I'm going to be putting this color right in the inner half of my eyelids. I'm just prepping it for the rose gold that I'm going to put on top because I want the shimmer to pop out and I think this will bring out the pigment more. Taking a smudger brush, I'm going to go into Buck for my Naked palette, and I'm going to put this directly in my crease. It's kind of like eyeline, eyelining, it's kind of like outlining a cat eye. Um, it really brings depth to this look, and right now it's looking super messy, but I haven't blended it out yet, so stay tuned for that. Got a craving to taste until you're close enough to taste it. take rose or rosé and I'm gonna put that right on top of the buff that we put in earlier. I know the camera is not picking it up but this color is beautiful. It's like the perfect champagne gold color and I'm just putting that in my inner corners as well and I'm just blending everything out. Using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, I'm going to put this on a small paddle brush and I'm going to dot this all over my face before I blend it out. I'm not using a lot of foundation, I'm not a fan of a lot of foundation and this just helps me to distribute it better. And I'm also cleaning up my eyeshadow and you see how it makes a really big difference when it's actually clean.
To conceal my face, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just for spot correction. And then to highlight my face, I am going to be using my Maybelline Dark Circle Under Eye Eraser. I'm really not sure what it's called, but this is my favorite concealer at the drugstore right now. It does a really great job of brightening the face. And now I'm going to be using a dry beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender, it's the complexion sponge from Real Techniques. I always get them confused. But I've never used this uh, dry before and I wanted to try it out and I was pleasantly surprised because it really blends my concealer well. I think it's better when it's dry actually. But I'm just using the dry beauty blender and I'm caking that stuff right underneath my eye and uh, right along my jawline to brighten up my face. This is my favorite step ever because it's so much fun. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to be fleeking my eyeliner with Linear Intense from L'Oreal. I'm actually doing a really thin line this time. I didn't want anything that would make this dramatic because this is actually not a dramatic look at all. So as you can see, it's a very thin line. And now I'm gonna be going in with two of my favorite mascaras. This one is Lash King from Japan, and it is so perfect. Like I have no eyelashes and it gives me eyelashes. And off camera, I just decided to apply my eyelashes and now I'm gonna be contouring with my Faithful Elf Contouring Duo. I don't know what it's called. I'll just put it down in the description bar. But I'm carving out my cheeks and I'm depositing this all over my temples to give my chipmunk face some structure. <laughs> taking this Barbie pink blush from NYX. That's not the name. I think it's uh, Garden Rose or something. Ugh, I'm not sure. Everything's in the description box below, but I'm just lightly applying this. It really gives a nice pop of color. I'm going for the innocent look, so I thought Barbie pink would be nice. And now I'm going to be highlighting my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and my cheekbones with Benefit's What's Up. And this is my favorite ever. Like, look, look at that glow. So I forgot to contour my nose, which is really important to me. So I'm gonna go back into my Lorac palette with light brown, which is really cool toned and not too orange. And I'm gonna be carving out my nose and blending it out with my fingers. And I'm gonna go back with my complexion sponge and pressing in everything just so that it doesn't move. Moving on to lips, I'm taking Too Faced Perfect Spice and I'm lining my lips. And I was going to use NYX Zero Trash as my lip color, but then I was like, nah, let's do something else. And so I use NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, which I think is such a cute pink color. And I really like the formulation of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was really straightforward and easy to follow. Leave me any comments down below if you want to see anything from me. I know I didn't film my eyebrows because this is like a 10 step process. I didn't even do concealer today, which is usually a 15 step process if I added concealer. So that's just way too long for a regular makeup tutorial. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, I also don't apply my eyelashes on camera because it's awesome 
awkward and I don't have a good setup right now. So I hope you guys really liked it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. That was so redundant. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye.